Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with me, Get Daved. So, uh, we just came to Wutai. Which is kind of a cool place. Okay. Incidentally, that philosophy kind of reminds me of how Lifestream works. a very impressive cat room. Cats everywhere. Unfortunately, there's some stairs leading to that hidden room in the back, but there's a cat in the way for now. We'll come back later. Okay. No getting in there for now. Our main goal is to track down Yuffie. <laughs> Kids on the ball. They sell pretty good stuff here. Not right now, but eventually. You gonna sell me something? town's conspiring against us. Welcome to- oh. Let's rumble. I've got planet protector. <laughs> oh, Reno, you're so badass. Why do you always wreck everything, Elena? I've done some horrible things. Bunch of wing nuts? Do you remember when you brought that plate down and killed all those people? Guys, talk to me. We're talking about the Leviathan materia, everybody. Important uh, part of any Final Fantasy game. Yes, Wutai is a tourist town now. And I'm just gonna read the sign for no real reason. I think we've only missed one so far. Turtles Paradise Flyer number six is in Wu Tai. No materia. Uh, Chocobo Feather is kind of inter an interesting purchase. Um, having speed plus ten has some decent value to it particularly earlier in the game. So it'd be kind of an interesting thing to pick up. Yeah, you and your materia. Ooh. Yuffie. 
Well, I guess it's time for us to look for her. Find her hiding around town. There's just all sorts of hidden exits and everything all throughout here. Look weird too, hey? Well, this wasn't drawn before. Well, hello. Yeah, she's fast. That's hiding place number one. Hiding place number two. My memory is failing me. How embarrassing. Now everyone's face palming. Ah, oh, there we go. I thought there was one more. I guess not. Party's over. This party's over. Mace Window, episode two. Best movie ever. Check it out. Yeah! It's just a job to the Turks. Professional, a Turk. And as usual, Rude sits in silence. Boom! Cloud, acting like a badass again. Man, some people talk about Cloud like he's emo. I guess in some of the later FF7 stuff, they kind of threw that into his character, but... Pretty ballsy by my books. Alright, let's flick a switch. Hmm? Con Play on words. Wanna know what would happen if we flicked the other switch? Here you go. Now I can't help but think Cloud probably should have looked up because we're in a basement. This metal cage is just dangling onto the ceiling above. Alright. We gotta steal it! Just 
Kitty Cat gonna move? Of course not. Well, let's continue our search. We've pretty much checked out all the areas in town. I feel like I haven't talked to everyone. Hmm. Incidentally, Lord Godo is Yuffie's father. So you can sleep for free here. We're pretty good on life, so I'm not gonna bother. But if you look very carefully... Oh, I thought there was a hidden path off of this room. There's a couple secrets in this building. Yeah, there we go. Just had a hard time hitting it. Can run through here. Pick ourselves up a magic shuriken. Talk more about that later. And there's a pretty good weapon for Red 13 in here as well. Notice a bit of a seam in the wall. A hairpin. I believe it is long range. Uh, if memory serves, it has no materia slots and no growth, but it is really strong. There's a whole family of weapons like that. Most characters have one weapon that has a ton of materia slots. They typically have one that has no materia slots and no growth, but is really strong. And it's typically like some sort of brutal weapon, like a bat or a mop or an umbrella. Pagoda up there, we're gonna worry about later, so I'm not gonna explore it quite yet. If we ring this bell, a door appears! Just like in real life. Looks like somebody bit off more than she can chew. Do you know who it is? Oh, I remember you. Oh my. Well, we might need these precious seconds I'm spending checking out these chests, but whatever. Party's over, Corneo. Well, apparently it isn't. He'll get what's coming to him, though. I wish I had materia. I would use aqua lung and you'd all be dead instantly. Incidentally, grenades are apparently pretty easy to dodge because I've gotten a couple of aids on them. These enemies have at least a thousand hit points. These clouds hit that guy on the left twice, I believe. A lot of Shinra uh, enemies use this strategy. I mentioned it earlier as well. The grenade coupled with sleep and dark. Uh, 
God, do we have any item I can use? Seriously? Just kill him. I foolishly believed that the game would not continue counting time when I was looking through menus. Now I've learned my lesson. Yeah, I know that wasn't the most efficient use of potions. Now that we have an easy supply of X potions, the others aren't quite that valuable. Hmm, Reno and Rude. that stands out the most. Now thus far that would have been the Pagoda, but if you take a look around, there is this rather important landmark. up this mountain. It's kind of like a Buddhist Mount Rushmore. There's some really good treasures on this mountain, but you can't quite get them yet, so... Incidentally, the enemies around here are kind of tough. Maybe not in raw power, but not having materia does complicate things. And I guess we're about to find out. Oh, just these guys again. So Rude ran off. Nice view of the city. Figuring out how all the paths line up is kind of complicated here. The Dragoon Lance. I believe that's got a ton of materia slots and is really good for Sid. Yep. Which is why I'm glad I have the party I have. Not great accuracy on either of these weapons, but the raw power. The power! Recall that Cloud does have something boosting his strength by 10, so they've got around the same attack power there. Later on we'll be able to get through these flames and get some really good items. Including... Well, I won't spoil it. Yeah. And we all know what he has in mind. Uh, I think he's turned on by power. Terrible person. <laughs> he 
almost made love to Cloud. Frankly, my dear, we don't give a damn. Also said, just so you know, we've threatened breaking much worse than his arm. So, Raps has one really huge attack. Hopefully it won't give us too much trouble. That one kind of hurt too. It would have been nice if we had another element break for Cloud, but... I think the Raps only has about 6,000 hit points, so... Yeah, here's his big attack. And there's no way she's surviving this, so... No! Oh no. Actually, he can survive that. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Please! I haven't saved in so long. What an embarrassment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome back to feeling suddenly mortal with me, Get Daved. So we missed out on some experience points. We got all the money. Everybody make sure your items are in a convenient place before a fight like this. Hmm. That's the answer, but... I won't give him the satisfaction. Squash tomatoes? <laughs> Alright, Aerith, he's got a good point. I kind of think he threw a knife or something. Doesn't look like he shot him or anything. The guy standing on your fingers is the one who dropped the plate, so... Bye, Corneo. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. 
You guys are so badass. You need to come help. Time to rumble, everybody. Or not. And everybody, that's why the Turks are awesome. Not anymore, he isn't. There, we got that one already. Always next time. But yeah, seriously, everyone's dead. So, even though now would be a really good time to end the video and preserve all sorts of continuity and yada yada yada, it would flow nicely. There we go. I want to go back and explore the town a little bit. Because, uh, got a little time to do that. They sell some good stuff here too, I'd like to add. That they do. That they do. Murasami comes with materia slots more than the Oshiyuki has, so it's a tempting purchase. I'm not going to buy it quite yet, but for only losing five materia slots, it's not a bad option. Huge upgrade. Uh, I'm not going to take Barrett into the next area. Huge upgrade. I think we get a better weapon for Aerith pretty soon. But I'm going to go for it anyway. We've got better for Red. We've got better for Sid right now. Kate Sith is Kate Sith. We've got better for Yuffie. And... Plus nine points, but a drop in accuracy. I'm probably not going to use Vincent for the next little bit. And... Yeah, I'm going to go it. Just because it's the Murasami. It's a special sword. I'll get it just because of that. Now, there is another little side quest we can do with Yuffie fighting her way through the Pagoda. Not selling materia. But I'm gonna do that later because it's kind of your last chance to learn an enemy, one enemy skill, and in interests of having a perfect playthrough, uh, I'm just not gonna not gonna do it quite yet. All right, the cat's moved out of the way, so we can go up these stairs. And get the HP absorb materia. HP absorb and the MP absorb are both uh, support materia. 
whatever you pair with HP Absorb, you'll get 10% of the damage it inflicts back as HP, and MP Absorb comes back at a 1% rate. So, at least for MP Absorb, I'd recommend pairing it with... Oh... Something good. And something that doesn't consume MP to use. Like, if you're pairing it with Fire, you're not going to get back the MP you spend on a spell, so... Perhaps something more along the lines of Death Blow would be a decent idea. For now, anyway. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one, and we'll get back on the main quest.